and Tammy live from the Collard Valley Cook Kitchen. Happy Sunday. We are making macaroni salad. It's that time of year. Now this makes a lot of macaroni salad and of course you can have the recipe, but we're making the whole thing because we're just gonna freeze a little bit of it. All right? So this is in our first cookbook. It's one of my original recipes. So I'm sure I could improve it a little bit if I wanted to. We'll decide when we taste it if we wanna add something, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop 16 ounces of elbow macaroni. Whoops, that's hot, y'all. So have your water boiling. Drop your pasta. We're gonna add just a dash of salt to it. And remember, when you're cooking pasta, not to put in oil or butter, but always put a little salt in it, okay? Because you want your creamy dressing to stick to the macaroni, and it's not going to do that if it's covered in oil. And to tell you the truth, when I first started the show, I used oil in this recipe, and I don't really know that I'll do that now because I've learned a couple of things, all right? So I'm just going to stir this up, and we're going to get over to the table and we're gonna start prepping some of our vegetables. Don't forget to turn the timer on. Okay, good thinking, Dad. Timer, eight, start. Okay, we're also gonna steam, instead of steaming, we're gonna drop some green peas, the squash and the zucchini that I prepped into these noodles on their last two minutes of cook. All right, just a heads up on that one. Got me a nice sweet Vidalia onion at the grocery store yesterday. They had bags of Vidalia onions, very good price. So we're just gonna chop this up. And remember when you're making a salad, you do want your onions large enough that you can get them in the salad. So if you cut them too little, it'll be hard to get them with a fork. Unless you eat your salad with a spoon. Well, that's true. Some people do eat macaroni salad with a spoon, actually. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want that big of an onion, then you can make them a little bit smaller. I think I'll make them just a little bit smaller, not a lot. Now, it's storming here in St. Mary's, and the dogs are under our feet because they're scared of storms. They are scared of storms. Now, I don't really want to put my vegetables in here yet because we're going to mix our creamy ingredients up with the mixer. So we're just going to chop. Well, doggone. I dropped my squash. Let me wash it good. Marcy, you didn't want that squash? Say no, thank you, Dad. She no, is. thank you. Now, I'm just going to take my paring knife and prep my vegetables up. Now you can ribbon these and make them really pretty if you want to with your, um, what do you call that thing, Daddy? I can't even think. I don't know. If you hadn't asked me, I'd have been able to grater. tell you. Grater. Grater. You could grate your vegetables. Now these have got to be cooked in with the pasta, so I'm going to throw them in here right quick. We might have to transfer them into something else. Now, not everybody puts squash and zucchini in their macaroni salad. I know that. And you don't have to put it in yours if you don't want to. I just think it's pretty. Okay? Because it's yellow and green. It's good for you. Yes, it is. It doesn't hurt you to get a few vegetables when you're eating macaroni pasta because that's a lot of starch. Right, Daddy? Yep. So, you can... You can ribbon these if you want to. I think the first time I made this, I ribboned them. And it may even be in the thing to ribbon them, which means you're just gonna make them skinny. But I'm not doing that today. Now the cucumbers I don't wanna cook, but the zucchini I do wanna cook. So I'm just gonna split it right down the middle twice so that it's quartered and we're gonna slice it into here. I guess I could see good, Daddy. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Go over here. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't know why. I just decided to use my... Um, oh, paring knife? Paring knife today because it's easy and we're live, you know? And so um, I am going to cut up these radishes. Now, the radishes... 
give it a little bit of a bite so it doesn't hurt it won't hurt uh, to throw these in and cook them too really wouldn't hurt to to steam the onion a little bit you can throw whatever in there and cook that you want to but if you want it to have a raw flavor you can leave it out as well these are peppers and um, I didn't have a bell pepper y'all so I'm having to use little um, sweet peppers I'm gonna have to use my cutter over here baby for these okay. I can do my other little radish real quick so y'all tell us what all you put in your macaroni salad today I think boiled eggs would be really good in macaroni salad now I know some of y'all don't like them but I sure do and I think they'd be really good in your macaroni salad. Uh, really and truly, a salad is a salad, so you can add and take away anything you want to. So if you don't like something I'm putting in here, then by all means, trade it out for something else or just leave it out. Right, Daddy? Yep. We got you got more than one uh, recipe for the for macaroni salad, don't you? No. Um, I have some pasta salad. I yeah. have some Italian pasta salad. And of course, they're a lot different. Uh, I have chicken salad, tuna salad. What about you that macaroni it. delight? What is, is that a macaroni? No, that's more salad. like a macaroni and cheese baked casserole type oh, thing. This oh, is yeah. a, more like a salad. Yeah, I forgot. So we're just chopping up these little peppers. Um, I wish I'd have had a green pepper, but I don't. But you know what? Those cucumbers are going to add some pretty green to it. We're going to add some pimentos in a minute. And um, we're going to add some sweet pickles to it. Now, if you don't like sweet pickles, of course, by all means, use dill. Use banana peppers. Whatever you like would be good in this, I promise. Olives. Daddy's not a fan of olives, are you? Not really. So, I don't, hardly ever do I use olives, although I absolutely love them. I make an egg and olive that's awesome just awesome we're gonna throw this all in there together and we're gonna boil it why not let's do half the onion and leave half the onion out as being crunchy how's that okay a little bit of both worlds now we're gonna drop this into our pasta in just a minute mix it up we've got two minutes left and so the last two minutes that this pasta boils it'll have the veggies in it now for sake of time we're going to reach back here and mix up our soft ingredients you can come on around here daddy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a whole stick of cream cheese soft, softened at room temperature. This is not a diet macaroni salad. A half jar of mayonnaise. Now, of course, you can use some yogurt in place of the mayonnaise. Whoops, and some light cream cheese if you want to, but we're going all the way with this one today as if we're making it for a family. We are a family. I know, but I mean, you know, company. Big family. Because y'all are our company. So we wanna go all out and do it right, don't we? All right, we're gonna put in a teaspoon of salt. That seems like a lot of salt. I don't know if I wanna put in the whole teaspoon. Well, that's a lot of macaroni. Yes, but it, the mayonnaise is salty as well. Yeah, well, we can taste it. I can taste it. Okay. I know I'll add the teaspoon of pepper because macaroni salad's awesome with black pepper. So there goes the pepper. Um, you've got a jar of red pimentos. Mm. A lot. Mm -hmm. And two tablespoons of sweet pickle relish. There you go. We're gonna reach back here. This is really not boiling all that great. I'm gonna give this another minute. I mean, it took it a minute to start boiling after we added the pasta. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a minute. 
as soon as we mix this up and it's creamy then we'll turn around and um, drop those veggies into there okay all right here we go Y'all, the first time I did this, I had just started the show. I had everything in a big boiler, and I was mixing it up with my hands, and it just drove people crazy. <laughs> so this time, I'm mixing the soft ingredients up it with a mixer to make it really creamy. Then I'm going to add it to the macaroni, and I think it's going to work a lot better. You might want to you might want to put a note in your Volume One cookbook of the little tips that I'm doing today. Looks like Thousand Island dressing, doesn't it? A little bit. It's not quite as orange because it don't have the paprika in it, but <clears throat> it's going to be good, I'm sure. All right, so we're going to drop these in here. And that way, they're not completely raw in your salad. Now, if you want them to be raw, then leave them out of this section. And all I have is tiny peas today. I didn't have any regular green peas like I normally use. So we're gonna pour some of these. Does it say a whole pack? 12 ounces. Yeah. It's a whole pack. Now that's cold. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to let this start boiling again. Let's put the lid on it for a minute. That's our pasta. My dog's over here wanting some water and I gotta give her some. Yep, they're gonna start knocking the water bowl all over the place because they're out of water. Okay. They gotta let you know. I'm sorry, you thirsty. Poor dogs. Scared of the thunder. She's thirsty. All right, so. All we got left to do is taste this mix to see if it really needs the rest of the pepper and um, drain our pasta and throw it together. This is simple. It's fast too, ain't it? Mm -hmm. All right. If you got everything laid out, it's really not that hard to do. What do you do with that oil? Put it in it there. Oh, I put the oil in when I was doing this because I was an amateur when I started this show. Oh, when you did the uh, pasta. Yes. Oh, so we don't and do I don't that. do that anymore. We don't do that now. All right, let me taste this. Mm -hmm. Plenty salty. Oh, I forgot my celery seed. I said a teaspoon. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. thing. Let's go ahead and throw some onion powder in it. Why not? I think it needs it. Even if we are putting some onion in it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mrs. Dash would be good in it. Let's see, where's my onion powder? Just throw everything in there. I mean, you can't go wrong. Making macaroni salad. Onion powder. Okay. At least a teaspoon, y'all. And then some Mrs. Oh. Dash is good in everything. Mm -hmm. Original. It's original. That's what I like. Now. So you can add those to your recipe if you've got a recipe book and it's not gonna hurt. All right, we're gonna chop up these cucumbers while we're waiting on that to finish up. Okay. Over here. I'm coming around behind you. And of course, you don't want to you don't want to cook your cucumbers, okay? Nope. You just throw them in there. They'll be good. This is a seedless cucumber I bought. If you're wondering.
really, this is super easy. It seems like it wouldn't be, but as long as you have your cream cheese out and ready, and uh, it's really not a it's not a lot to do, especially when you boil and cook your vegetables at the same time as you're doing your pasta. You know, then you ain't got two things going at one time. I learned that after the show as well. Y'all, when I made this, I probably hadn't been doing Collard Valley Cooks, but a few months, for real. So, my viewers and my experience since then has taught me a lot. And my viewers teach me a lot. Y'all give me a lot of tips on a lot of stuff, and it really comes in handy. All right, so we're just going to chop these good for our salad. See, that's pretty too, ain't it? Pretty and green. It's gonna be a pretty salad, y'all. I got out the grater and then didn't even use it. Well, that's one less thing to clean up. That's right. All right, let's check on this over here, y'all. So you want those peas to have a little pop to them. So we're not gonna cook them long. And really, I'm gonna taste, see if this pasta is about done. If it is, we're taking it out. Really, those vegetables don't need to be in there, but about a minute. We might run some cold water over it. You ready? I personally like macaroni salad to be a little bit al dente, not a lot, but it's perfect to me. We're gonna pour it up. Let's do it. And we're gonna run some cold water over it so that it will stop cooking. Mm -hmm. And the vegetables won't get too soft, soggy, okay? Okay. Chris is ready, ain't you, baby? I'm ready. All right, y'all just stay right there. Make it happen. We're gonna pour it all in here. It's gonna make a lot of macaroni salad. Ooh. Fill that thing up, didn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna put this down right here. Some cold water over it. Those peas smell good. Now, you probably never had a macaroni salad like Tammy's. Because I do throw a few things in mine that some people don't. But, like Chris said, we like for it to be just a little bit healthy. Since it's got all that mayonnaise in it. <laughs> and, and remember, when you're eating this, you're not eating all the mayonnaise at one time. So. Yeah, as long as you don't eat all that, you'll be okay. Yeah, just don't sit down and eat the whole bowl of macaroni salad. You'll be full. You might want to fill it and make sure it's nice and cool. Don't put it in there while it's still piping hot. I think it's good. Shake it. Yeah. Shake it up and back now. I need that uh, silver bowl over there on the table, sweetie. There you go. I'm gonna put it right here and let y'all watch me pour it out. Look how pretty this is, y'all. It's pretty. There you go, Whoops. dogs. That's what y'all been waiting on. I don't think they really want that, but. I bet they do. I could be wrong. Now we're gonna throw the rest of this onion and these cucumbers in here. If you wanted to, you could do tomatoes, but now tomatoes, I think, would uh, make it go soggy pretty quick. But they might not. If you got some good meaty tomatoes, probably work. Now we're gonna put in our delicious dressing that we made everything but the kitchen sink in it. Mm -hmm. mm, it smells good. Now let me get me a big spoon. Watch out, sweetie pea. Okay, let's mix it up, y'all. Don't y'all want a bite of our macaroni salad? Now, I tell you, you can add some water or milk to it if it's not Juicy enough, but this looks plenty juicy to me. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that looks good, don't it? Perfect. That'd be good with some shrimp or something like that in it, too, I bet. Oh, yeah. Some of them baby shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. A little seafood macaroni salad. Yeah. Crab meat. Yeah. All right, that's all there is to it, y'all. Now, I'm going to put some... About <laughs> broke my neck on the dog. They stay right up under you that's, when it's storming. That's it's part of being here. live. Yes. Woo, I'm glad y'all didn't hit the floor with Chris. He's already hurt his back this week. Hey, you, Chris. Yeah, my hip a little bit. All right. Let's put some of this in a bowl and give it a shot try. So you got the little peppers in there, different colors. I just didn't have bell pepper, and that actually made it prettier. And um, so you got yellow, you got orange, you got green, you got red with the pimentos. Everything. Mmm. Yummy! Yeah, I mean, that's super delicious. You want to taste it, Chris? Mm, uh, yeah, I can. I'm gonna get one more bite. Okay. Mmm. All right. <clears throat> That's good. Mm-hmm. That dressing would be good just on regular salad. Oh, yeah. Just on lettuce and stuff. You know what, y'all? I really believe that you should add that onion powder and the rest of the, and that Mrs. Dash. I'm going to go in and, and tweak my recipe a little bit because, like I said, it's been since 2017 since I made this recipe. And this mama knows how to cook a little bit better since then. So I'll do a recipe revision. If you've never looked at my recipe revisions, you might want to check them out on the website and mark up your cookbooks if they need to be marked up. And many of them, if you've ordered them over the last couple of years, are already fixed. But every once in a while, I will do a revision. So you need to check them. And we just thank you so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks. And um, hope you enjoy this macaroni salad as much as we do. And remember to add your favorite ingredients. It would be good with banana peppers. It would be good with olives. It would be good with a boiled egg. Chopped up. The the uh, list goes on and on, don't it, Chris? Yep. Y'all awesome. have a wonderful day. And we just thank you so much for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mama's dead. Remember, this is in our Volume 1 cookbook, and it's printable on the website. See you next time. Bye.